All right, truth be told, I feel like a horrible person. One of my students, her name is Stephanie Nash, back in June of 2022, sent me while I was in Scotland hosting my Scottish Castle Art Retreat with Lucy Bryden, mailed to me this absolutely gorgeous glass dip pen and I haven't even opened it yet. I have opened it, I've looked at it, but I haven't used it. Oh, so first of all, I have, it's not that I haven't used it because I don't love it and cherish it so much. It's because when somebody sends me something, I don't take it lightly <laughs> and I want to give it the proper time and respect to play with it, admire it, appreciate it. And because I haven't used one, I want to also do it for you. So maybe, cause if I'm learning something, I always want to pass that information on to you. So Stephanie, I am so sorry that it's taking me so long, but I wanted to dedicate an entire video just to you and this glass pen and do it true justice. Now, in case you're new to my world, my name is Karen Campbell and I'm obsessed with mixed media, but I love fountain pen inks especially. I have an enormous collection of colors of fountain pen ink colors and I paint with them. Uh, and also to store my inks, I also collect these vintage perfume bottles of which I'm so embarrassed to say how many I have a lot. Like a lot, I find them everywhere. People are like, where do you find them? I'm like, legit everywhere. Thrift stores, antique stores, I found them on uh, Etsy, everywhere. So I'm gonna be talking more about Fenton Pen Ink and I'm gonna finally get to try and show you this beautiful glass dip pen that was sent to me so lovingly and thoughtfully by Stephanie Nash. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Let's finally have a look at this and give it a try at long last. Uh, before I forget to, if you're completely new and have questions about fountain pen ink, check the I in the corner of your screen because I have a whole video on like exactly what it is and how I normally use it, plus a really cool project that you can do along with me. But today we're just going to focus more on the glass dip pen. Okay. okay, so I have here a hot press piece of watercolor paper. Um, just because I know from working with dip pens, my dip pens love a smooth like Bristol. So um, I got this out for starters. Um, here are some of some some of my fun favorite colors. Um, Noodler's Ink is my favorite go-to just because it comes in the most colors, like 126 or something like that. Um, Waterman is another one that I really like. And so those, I probably have the most too. Oh, and Diamine. All my other inks are stored in these like schmancy bottles. So you can't really see. This is one I just picked up when I was in, oh, someone just gifted that one to me actually. Another kind soul just gifted that to me. Oh, my weird obsessions. Okay, so look, I have my ink at the ready. Now let's check out this Plasta pen. I did, in full transparency, have to look up here on YouTube how to use one, because I don't know. I have tried one one time for about five seconds, and that's about it, but I have yet to look at this one. Okay, so first of all, this is gorgeous. As you can clearly see, I think I need to describe why it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and it seems to come to a nice, it's a really fine tip. These are all the grooves that are in here. So I don't know if this is gonna be easy or hard. I watched a video, I will also link it here in the top corner of your screen. It's by Jet, uh, Goul Goulet Pens, I think. Jet Pens, I forget, I'll, I'll link it there. So, cause I was like, I don't know how to use it. I don't wanna look like a total moron, but you basically dip it in. I know, I know it's crazy. And then you write with it. <laughs> Um, but what I learned from the video is that you're supposed to like turn it as you write because I think each because there's multiple of these each one of these squiggle lines you can follow down to the tip and because there's multiple of them when you turn it you're basically like emptying out one swirl at a time. At least that's how my little brain was concerned. Why is there so much cat hair inside my ink bottle top? That's, what the heck? That's disgusting. 
because I have three cats and a dog. Yeah, that's you, Megs. Megs Magazine. She's behind me like, what? All right, so I'm going to dip it in, and I'm going to pull it out and just see what happens. I did also see they said to, to knock off the extra on the side, so I've done that. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It looks pretty filled. Um, I guess I'm just going to write... I'm going to write Mags, Meg Magerson. So this is how I would normally hold a pencil. So, um, oh, oh, wow. Okay, like, soup. oh, that's my school alarm. But my kids are home today, so don't need to pick them up. Okay, so Mags, wow, I, okay, I haven't, I'll turn it a little bit. I don't know. Mag, this is my dog's nickname. It's the worst nickname of all time. And the first time my husband said it, I was like, never say that again. That's so stupid. And now that's all we call her. Mags, Mags, Magerson. We think she might be Norwegian with all the, all the consonants. Magerson. <laughs> oh my God, it's still going. And that's like the longest la lame name ever. So I'm doing a little twirl to see how much... Oh my gosh, I am shocked. I'm also embarrassed because this is really fun and I'm just figuring that out right now even though I've had it for so long. <gasps> Stephanie, I would disown me if I was you. What the heck? This, okay, that's, this is still going. I still haven't re-upped re my ink amount yet. What the, like legit? Um, like even ran out of lines to do. It's still going. Mags, Mags, Magerson. Oh, sorry. I have to remember not to quite be so myself when I'm on YouTube. Oh my God. Still. How is this possible? You guys, this is the same dip. Still going strong. What? All. Sam, sorry, I'm a sailor. Day, stop it right now. Long, what? <gasps> it's, <st> how is this still going, you guys? Just, how <gasps> is <laughs> this? Why is it not running out? So, oh my gosh. Ma, je, you guys, what the heck? Oh, is it coming out now? Is it running out? We'll make this like a double. How is this so magical? Like, legit. How much? La. When I feel it getting low, I just twist it a little. I just keep going. Legit. Amit. Oh, how do you spell legitimate? Did I just spell it wrong? Legitimate. I think I might have. <laughs> Is it legitimate <gasps> or is it why is this still going I'm freaking out you guys it's been minutes legit is it legitimate I feel like that's right how to spell how <gasps> spell this word oh like a why why is this so amazing? Why and how, okay, it's getting really thin. Is this happening? Oh my God, it's still going. Okay, oh my God, um, now what? Now what? Oh, you know what I, I should really draw. Oh, I think it's running out. Draw. Nope, twisted it. I should really draw. Like, <laughs> or, oh, or, oh, oh, I think we finally ran out. Oh my God. I can't. I am literally like can't get over that. I know it's like a whole paper. That's crazy town. Okay, the other thing I learned by watching that other video was that like, unlike dip pens, um, glass pens don't like metal or rust or break or fray over time, which are all things that dip can, pens can do. So when you're done and you can just wash them in water 
So that ink that I was using was water soluble. You can also get ink that is permanent. Um, that's actually, I just posted a reel on my Instagram page, um, which is at Karen Kimball Artist. Um, and I was pouring this into this brand new one. Um, and this one is super permanent. So actually I thought it would be fun um, I'm doing the this fun like apothecary unit with my Celtic Collective students over which is one of my three art clubs over at awesomeartschool.com and I found this copyright free adorable bottles image and I thought it would be fun to use my glass pen to do maybe some of the outlines and then I could show you how I actually paint with uh, with the fountain pen inks and because this black is permanent and waterproof I should be able to kind of mix and match my inks like that I'll just do like two what the heck what the heck I can't believe the flipping glass <laughs> that was such a surprise but I'm glad I waited not because I wanted to take so long to make the video but like see that kind of fun doesn't come when I'm all uptight and hurried and trying to get something out it only comes when I'm like relaxed and kind of feeling my best so I'm gonna dip this into my black now and I'm gonna make some I like I think I'm gonna make some rows going this way um these are so cute here's some just kind of now the thing about this is that you can't erase right <laughs> so you know you just kind of have to dive in there and hope for the best. Just make this kind of out, outline and then we'll fill some of these in with, uh, you know, ooh. Oh, that's literally not at all what I was gonna do. And then my hand took over and it just started doing its own thing as it happens to do sometimes. Look at how cute these are. I love my glass pen so much. Let's do one like this. And then a thing. And then a thing. It's so important as an artist to like find time to play. And for me, it's so difficult, but it is so important. First of all, it just feels amazing. So like for my own mental health, it just feels so good. But also, that's actually legit how you learn things. Like, that's how you discover what you like and what you don't like. It's playtime is vastly important and beneficial to your heart and soul. Learning something new just for your education's sake. I really enjoy this process right now. I am enjoying this process. It's... Um, I thought I was gonna have to go get ink like every two seconds, you know, like uh, I was like, oh This is gonna be I don't know. I have I don't know if I'm gonna have patience having to just go stop and get more ink every I'm like it goes on for days What in the actual heck? Heckola, that's so crazy. I love me some bottles Yeah, if you are into fantasy in any way shape or form if you love like fairies castles dragons mermaids all that good stuff should check out my um, Celtic Collective Art Club that I run with my friend Lucy Bryden. We have stupid amounts of fun there. We have monthly Zoom calls, but our projects are all fantasy based and it's so fun. So we do all these quirky, weird things. Did unicorns last month. This one we did our these uh, apothecary. I don't need to do so many, but I'm honestly having so much fun. But I'm just gonna keep going. Plus my my glass dip pen goes on for eternity. So let's see how many bottles I can do before I have to get more ink. It'd be really sad if it like died in the middle of a project. But I, so far so good. I think I'm gonna make that like a round top. Ooh, I feel like I might be running out. So maybe I'll do like cheat and do like a long one. Um, I haven't done this shape yet. Let's see what shape. Oh, I haven't done like a do 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 do. Oh, here's a cute one. And if any of my Celtic Collective students are watching, you actually have the reference little image in, in our classroom for this month. 
Is that too similar? All right, maybe we'll do one more. What shape, what shape, what shape? Uh, oh, here's like a triangular one. Don't even know what the heck shape that is. Zoop, zoop, and then... Oh no, 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 don't run out, don't run out. I'm so close, I'm so close to being done. Oh no, oh, oh, I'm trying to t turn it and see. Oh, so close. All right, well, I got through tons. I just went and dipped some more so I could just finish this one off. And then I feel like maybe we'll just have some bubbles over here. Boop, boop, boop. Sometimes you just gotta boop, you know what I mean? Just boop some bubs. <laughs> oh, we love playing on YouTube. Okay. We have our things. So this is how I would normally, now I put my fancy top, and see so using the, my little jars makes me feel so fancy. So this should be permanent. It's this, again, this is what I, it was waterproof drawing ink. So if, if, it, if it's not, it's probably because I didn't wait for these things to dry. Um, ooh, here's one of my favorite colors, Meadow. This one I believe is from Diamine. I think. I have all these written down somewhere where I'm using my favorite Paulina Bright. She makes my favorite watercolor brushes. And this is how I normally paint with watercolor, well, with, uh, sorry, <laughs> and watercolor, yes. But fountain pen inks is, um, I literally just go right in with a paintbrush and go. It's like, let's not overthink the amazingness. It's just for fun. And because I'm working on watercolor paper, you can, um, you can use, you can just paint stuff like that. All right, let me get a couple more fun colors. I'll just fill them all in real quick. All right, here are some of my other favorite colors. Um, and also, like, can you see now why I use these bottles? Because it's like nothing is more fun than being like, ooh, I'm going to go to my fancy shelf of fancy bottles and I feel like I'm not in 1930 like I feel it takes me back in time look at this cute little one. Oh my god it's so cute I can't even take it and I have my lovely watercolor brushes oh make sure you get your and by, by the way that is the sound of I put glass beads in the bottom of my water because it helps it helps to clean them really quickly. Now, these this ink too is really water soluble, so you, I could do like, I could do just a little bit in the pure kind of fountain pen ink, and then you can actually like just add water if you want to like dilute it as it goes up, boop, 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 you know, or down, do 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 do, or whatever. And those stay water reactive as well. Oh, I'm all done with you. Fancy pink poo poo. And then here's like a blue one. I know this blue is from Noodler. Look at this, look at this glass. It has these like wee flowers on them. I can't even, I can't not eat then. The hardest part is getting all of the, <laughs> the pigment out of my brush. Here's blue, wee. Oh, I should have used turquoise. Turquoise is even more of a fave. Come on. Oh, it's so good. And then I feel like I missed, put my little quote unquote top on here. I just, I feel like I should have put pink, pink down on that one. Oh, this is a different pink. This is Atlantic Salmon, which I know is Noodlers. Oh my goodness. That was the most fun in the whole wide world. That was so fun. Okay, again, shout out to Stephanie Nash. Thank you so much for your generous, beautiful, and kind gift of my glass pen. I absolutely love the crap out of it. And I can't believe, I can't believe how far it goes with one dip. That's bananas. Oh my gosh, that was super fun. Info on all the things I've been chattering about is in the description box and you can click the video here if you haven't yet so you can go learn more about fountain pen inks. Bye.
this is hilarious when tippy is at her happiest like not attacking me she shoves her forehead oh maggie just came up she shoves her forehead <laughs> into something this in this case she was like shoving it in my fork maggie don't push her in the bum she she mashes her head like that and then just purrs what are you doing Next, next, next.